Welcome to Nicholas 11x12. Today I'm looking at another interesting air CPU cooler by Cryorg. The Cryorg M9, the M9i to be exact. There are two different versions available of this cooler, the M9i and the M9a. You probably already guessed right, I stands for Intel A for AMD. This for instance means you can't use the M9i on an AMD platform, obviously. The M9i only supports Intel sockets, more on that later. The M9 in general currently is Cryorg's smallest tower cooler so far. I'm quite excited how this one performs. Its price currently is at around 28 US dollars, that's not bad. Thank you so much Cryorg for continually sending me these interesting CPU coolers to review. In the box is the M9i itself, with a fan pre-attached already, but right off the bat I can tell you we'll have to take it off to install this cooler into our system. Included of course the backplate out of PPT, screws and mounting brackets. Also included two fan clips for an optional additional fan. And last but not least, thermal paste and the user's manual. The first time I took the cooler out of the box, I realized I love the way it looks. I mean, it's so small, yet so professional looking in terms of aesthetics. We don't see something like that too often in that size and price range. Pre-attached is a nice black 92mm fan with the following specs. 600 to 2200 RPM, noise level up to 26.4 decibels, not bad, airflow 48.4 CFM. Seems to be a decent decent fan. It connects with a nice leafed 4-pin cable. Cryorg as so often tries optimizing their aluminum fin design to maximize cooling performance. On this specific tower we therefore find the so-called jet fin acceleration system. It should apparently lead to faster air exhaust speeds. The different gaps of 1.6 and 3.6 mm have something to do with that. The top cover is out of plastic, which is fine, and the fact that being black goes nicely with a black fan. Clean and minimalistic, I'd say. This M9 isn't much larger than an Intel stock cooler with the following dimensions. 87 by 102 by 124.6 mm. So in terms of height, this cooler should fit into almost any case in the market. But we also shouldn't run into any interference issues with memory, I believe. We'll see. The M9 including the fan weighs 425 grams, which is extremely lightweight. Despite the low price point of $28, we still get to see a nickel plated copper base here and even a total of three 6mm thick heat pipes. The M9i supports the following Intel sockets, LJ1150, 1151, 1155 and 1156. 2011 is not supported though, but I highly doubt you'd get such a cooler for that platform anyway. The M9a, the AMD version of this cooler, supports AMD's AM3+, AM3, AM2+, AM2, FM2+, FM2 and last but not least FM1. I'll be installing this cooler onto my test bench that Cooler Master kindly provided me to make things a bit easier easier for me. The installation of the M9 is fairly simple, but compared to Cryorg's mounting systems on more expensive coolers, this one didn't quite impress me all that much since, well, it wasn't the best solution. Still it went fairly hassle free. Obviously we do not have to worry about any kind of memory interference with the cooler here. High profile RAM poses no problem. And at this point I gotta say again, there's a good looking CPU cooler, small but fine. On to the temperature results now. The Cryorg M9 for sure is not a best performer, but nobody expects that at a price point of just $28. Nonetheless, the CPU cooler managed to impress me by quite a lot. I expected much much worse results and higher noise levels. Instead the M9 remained perfectly quiet and was barely hearable on full load. The temperatures are more than okay compared to the size and price of this M9. This might be the ideal choice to replace any stock coolers. The M9 is small, light and affordable. As seen in my example, the M9 isn't just a replacement for the stock cooler, but more of an improvement and it certainly can handle lower clocks. For sure you could go higher than 4.3 GHz on that i7-4770K I've tested the cooler with. It's just that I turn up the voltage for my tests to further increase temperatures to make it easier for you to see differences. 
The M9 looks good, performs good, remains quiet, doesn't lead to interference issues, what do you want more? It has a very very good price performance ratio. Without any doubt I'd definitely recommend the Cryorg M9 CPU cooler. I even give it my rare gold award. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.